does Airbnb or service accommodation work in Belfast? Belfast is a city in demand. It offers someone, something for everyone. There's a huge variety of world-class tourist attractions that people want to come and see. And for people doing a tour of Ireland, um, it has the buzz of the city centre, but it's also such a short drive away from everything on all the scenic spots that the island has. There are real enduring reasons why people will always come here. The golf, Game of Thrones, the Troubles, Titanic. And it's also a city on the up in terms of business with loads of new multinationals coming, and setting up in the city, loads of investment and uh, construction happening. So ultimately, Airbnb or service accommodation works really, really well in Belfast if you've got the right property in the right location. Belfast gets all sorts of different types of visitors from business travelers to leisure, families, couples, groups of friends, contractors, and they all have different needs and expectations when it comes to accommodation. And this is great because it means all types of accommodation can work if you tailor it to these types of property or these types of people. But knowing these expectations is key for them being successful. For example, an apartment with two double beds might work great for a family, but it's really not going to work at all for four builders coming to work on a construction site in the city because contractors, builders don't like to share beds. So let's talk about the size of the property. Generally, the bigger the better. A one-bedroom apartment is always going to struggle slightly because it has to compete on price with every hotel room in the city, and that can be tough. Two-bedroom apartments will always perform better than one-bedroom apartments because they can accommodate more people. Houses can work well as, as well, but a two-bedroom house is going to take a lot longer to clean than a two-bedroom apartment. And also, if you're taking more than five people, you're going to need two bathrooms. So the finishing the standard of the property is really important as well. People who stay in Airbnbs or serviced accommodation tend to always do this. They have a, a, a threshold of expectation of what they're hoping for, high standards. So strong Wi-Fi is the absolute bare minimum of what you should be providing. It's an absolute must. There are lots of little additions that you can throw in there as well that can wow your guests. Free Netflix, a really nice welcome pack, free parking. You should be really trying to over-deliver. A that'll do attitude will not work. The location of a property is one of the most important things when deciding whether it will work or not. Leisure visitors and tourists want to be close to the action. They want to see coffee shops, restaurants, bars, parks, supermarkets. As soon as they come out their front door, they want to feel like they're in, in a nice place. Now, yes, those properties can be more expensive to purchase, but it's the difference between once up and running, charging £150 a night or £70 a night. The greatest demand is always for these city centre properties, so they'll always be able to charge more. So another consideration about the location is the neighbourhood. Now this is particularly important in Belfast. Yes, it might be a 10-minute walk from the Shankill Road or the Falls Road into the city centre, but that does not mean it's a good area to send guests. Guests want to hear about the troubles in a black taxi tour or a sightseeing bus. They do not want to experience it firsthand. You do not want any guest staying in your property to feel intimidated, whether that's from murals or flags or painted curb stones. There still is that perception that Belfast is dangerous, even though it's one of the safest cities in Europe. Um, and guests, visitors coming to the city can get particularly nervous about that, about staying in a safe area. Um, and ultimately, they it's so easy for them to just think, I'll book a hotel. So you need to be so careful that you're operating your service of accommodation in a really safe, neutral, non-political area. So a city centre apartment block might seem like the perfect option. And in reality, they are pretty good options, but they're not perfect because sometimes management companies who are in there can get disgruntled if there's service department operators in a building who are not running their property as they should be, and annoying neighbours, and they can crack, crack down on it um, and pretty much rule it out and make it untenable. Likewise, neighbours can get really annoyed from, from guests who are coming and going, not feeling comfortable with um, not knowing who the neighbours are. So it's not a perfect option, but you just need to try your best. Once you operate in a city centre apartment block, keep your neighbours happy, keep your guests good, not disrupting anyone, um, and just keep doing as well as you can. So where do you find guests then? Well, obviously Airbnb is the, the phrase that everyone knows, but in reality, there are, it's a big world out there and there are much bigger websites than Airbnb. Booking.com is huge, Expedia, but you also need to be getting um, uh, your own website where you can take direct bookings. Ultimately, you need to be getting maximum exposure across all sites um, to get your property in front of as many eyeballs as possible. There are still preferences. Some people think Airbnb is just for young people or they think um, it's for hipsters. Other people from different countries prefer different websites. 
So it's not just a one size fits all. You need to get maximum exposure, get your property everywhere. Now you need to be realistic about your um, expectations for your profit as well. Ultimately, I believe you could rent out anywhere in Belfast as long as you had the right price. I think you could do a garden shed for five pounds a night and people would pay that. And as long as you're happy to get five pounds a night, then you're happy too. The issue I see is when people bring a substandard, poor located property to the market and expect to be able to charge the same as a high-end city centre location. It's just not going to happen, no matter how nicely decorated you do it inside. Um, it's not just about the finish inside. It's about the location, um, about the size, and you know it, it, it all comes together. So you have to be super realistic about what your property is going to be able to obtain. And as long as you're happy with that, then that's fine. Go forward. But think about it like this. I would say a two-bedroom apartment out of the city center could bring in about twenty to thirty thousand pounds income per year um, as service accommodation. A top end two bedroom apartment right in the city center, forty thousand pounds plus. It's happening every month, every year, because we're doing it. But all the factors that I've just talked about have to be bang on for this to happen. Now I can't do a video about whether service accommodation or Airbnb works in Belfast without talking about the sheer amount of work that's involved in getting it to work. It's basically a mini hotel and you have every job in that hotel from cleaner to front of house to security to receptionist, all the jobs. It's tough going and it can be all consuming. And just like a hotel, if guests aren't happy, they will leave negative reviews. And if you start getting negative reviews, it's going to make the thing much harder to sell. Good reviews are crucial for a business to be successful and bad reviews make it basically impossible for it to be successful. There's a hell of a lot of work once you actually get the property up and running to keep it running well. So to sum up, Belfast is an awesome destination. People are always going to come here. We have some serious enduring reasons why. Um, I firmly believe that Belfast and Northern Ireland is just getting started in terms of tourism. No one comes here for the weather, thankfully, so it gets visitors all year round, although it does dip in the winter, January, February, March. Be aware of guests' expectations and concerns around safety. Be realistic about pricing and try to offer extra value to wow the guests. There you go. I think Belfast is an amazing destination for visitors. I think Airbnb or service accommodation will work for a long time to come. If you've liked this video, please hit subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment about your experience of running service accommodation in Belfast.